Do you know what time it is? It's time for the letter of the day. It's the letter Z or Z. Yay, Z or Z. Z or Z is for zucchini. One of my favorite vegetables and the star of today's dish. Hey everyone, Mark here and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna grill up some zucchini ribbons, making a simple salad with them that you can eat hot or cold. I love zucchini. Zucchini, the most beautiful food I ever ate. Zucchini, 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 zucchini. So we can start off by using three to four zucchinis for this recipe, green or yellow or a mix, whichever you like. Let's start by slicing off the ends of the zucchini. You can save those ends for stock. I'm using a mandolin. It's the best in my opinion to get zucchini ribbons. I have the flat slicer attached and then we can make our ribbons. The first couple of ribbons will be your test subjects as you get the right thickness you are looking for. I'm looking for about 1 8 inch thick slices, but you can go thinner if you like, as long as the zucchini ribbon has some wiggle to it. If you don't have a mandolin, a vegetable peeler will work. You'll have only one option on the thickness, but that's okay. And if you don't have a mandolin or a vegetable peeler, you can use a knife. Just be careful with how you slice. This next step is optional, but because zucchini is about 90% water, this can help release some of that moisture. I'm just laying down the zucchini ribbons on a sheet pan lined with paper towel, and then you can season with salt, and then just let them sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, we can prep some of the other ingredients. Finally, chop up about a quarter cup of fresh parsley, which will add some nice freshness to the dish. Then in a dry pan on low to medium heat, lightly toast about one third cup of sliced almonds. Once they have browned, we can remove to a bowl to prevent further toasting and possibly burning the nuts. Now with the zucchini that's been sitting for about 15 to 20 minutes, we can now dab with a paper towel all that extra moisture. Look at all the extra water that has been released. Blot the ribbons dry and then toss them into a large bowl. We're gonna season with freshly cracked pepper and salt, but easy on the salt because they have already been pre-salted. Add a small drizzle, about one and a half tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and then gently toss the ribbons to evenly coat. Now we can grill on a barbecue or a grill pan like I am. On medium to high heat, lay the zucchini ribbons down and grill until you get beautiful char marks on either side. As the zucchini ribbons cook, more moisture will be released. And once we're done cooking, we can remove the ribbons to a bowl, or we can remove to a sheet pan lined with paper towel to catch any excess moisture. Plate your zucchini ribbons on a plate however you like, and then crumble up about 150 grams of creamy feta cheese all over. Garnish with the freshly chopped parsley and then the toasted almonds. Add the zest of one lemon and the juice of a half a lemon and a small drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and bring that to the table. This is a nice light salad, side dish, appetizer, whatever you want to call it. The char on the zucchini adds a nice flavor. The crunch of the almonds, the creamy feta, the lemon zest, you can even serve it with some bread. This is a perfect dish for a barbecue and the beautiful weather coming our way. So I hope you give it a go. And as always, the full recipes in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.